Hello, it's Australia with the reading for the collective. Take the dates, throw out the rest. Watch out for scammers soliciting you for readings in the comments section or anywhere else, really. I feel like most most readers don't solicit. They don't solicit uh, on, really, on any platform. They don't try to force people to, you know, uh, get into something that they feel uncomfortable with or something. Just most of them won't. I think you guys know by now, but I just got to keep saying it. Um, so, um, and I appreciate all of you. Hello, new subscribers. Hi, everyone who's been here since the very beginning. Thanks for all of your, your amazing energy, your positive energy. I really appreciate you. Thanks for your support of one another in the comment section as well. You know, um, I was feeling some interesting energy Yes, last night, and I didn't do a reading on it, so I'm just wondering about it again. I mean, I did a reading on it, but I I want to revisit it before I post it again. So I want to know what this was about. There was something going on. There was some planning happening, or there, there was very, very like there was a lot of talking, planning. Uh, it was like a lot of nervous energy. It was not good. So. Seven of Cups reversed, some sort of confusion, or someone's trying to figure out their options. Yes, please. What was happening last night? What was that? Someone wants to do something reckless. Someone's trying to figure out their options, taking this leap of faith, or could be not letting someone move forward, or someone's going to do something reckless, or they want to take this leap of faith, but they're trying to figure out their options to take a leap of faith. Um, five of Wands, there's some kind of like tension or conflict or trickery in the subconscious. Um, justice, karma's been playing out for whoever this individual is. They've been, they could be upset because karma is playing out in their life from the choices that they've made. Um, the Hermit, reverse. They feel like something about someone being ostracized or not wanting to be investigated or not wanting to have to look deeply into something, not wanting someone to have feel. Uh, this could be someone who likes to spend time alone. This could be having them come out of this hermit energy. Um, in the near future, how does this play out? What is this? Eight of coins. Someone's putting putting in a lot of effort into something, or this is shoddy workmanship. Um, Wheel of Fortune, kar uh, karma, good karma for someone, magician who's a, a master manifester. So it looks like someone's transmuting whatever this is, or the universe is is uh, not going to. Justice is here, and Wheel of Fortune is here. I mean. So whatever they're planning, it feels pretty, like, not, not gonna work. Or this has already passed by, and that's why the... Because I'm not feeling the energy now, I was feeling it last night. Um, the lens that this person is looking through, what are, they, what are they seeing? They see someone who's protected. Spiritually protected. Or they, they, you know, a need for someone to defend themselves. In the environment, what's in the environment of this person? Or how do they come across? Nine of coins, there's someone that works very independently. There's someone in the environment that's a feminine energy that's like probably single um, or just very independent. They work towards their own life of luxury, working towards a 10, a lineage, working towards their lineage. Um, this is like hard work, hard work, but enjoying themselves, enjoying life, the fruits of their labor. Feminine energy, independent feminine energy. Um, the sun is about being seen satisfied hopes and fears about someone being seen and feeling happy or satisfied 
outcome. Eight of Swords reverse. Someone got themselves into a trap. They can get themselves out of it. Hmm. Ace of Coins reverse. This has to do with like a missed opportunity. So whoever this is could be missing an opportunity. They could be losing money. They could have done this to someone else. They could have been trying to steal the 10th coin from this nine of coins. It's all about this missed opportunity. That's what's under the deck. Tragedy is self-fulfilling prophecy, saying someone doesn't matter, they're worthless, and then trying to steal from them and stop them so that they can't be happy and joyous and seen, trying to drown out somebody's uh, personality, trying to uh, diminish someone, make them lose an opportunity. Seven of Cups trying to figure out their options. An official person with an official person. Or well, there's an official person whose job it is to figure out options. <laughs> a drug dealer. <laughs> official person, Seven of Cups. Um, I don't know. Someone's doing something reckless. Or it's about someone being an official person, trying to figure out their options with an official person. The seeker, someone is taking a leap of faith, being reckless, a loss of innocence, justice. This is connected to a wealthy man in the upright. Karma has been playing out. Hermit. They want to change something in regards to someone who feels ostracized or they want to stop someone from being in this hermit energy. They want to change something coins, all this work they put in, there's going to be a message of concern about that. This mean, lack, it's either shoddy workmanship, no skill, or a lack of work, or something like that. There's going to be a message of concern about that. Karma's playing out, uh, and there's a master manifester here. They see someone as, like, protected, or they some sort of expectation. They feel like this person maybe is like aware of what they're doing. So we've got to get around whatever it is. Nine of coins. They see this person is like just focused on work, working towards their 10th coin. They've been trying to block the 10th coin. Bad health. That's weird. I don't know what that is for. Could want this person to be in bad health. The sun. Something to do with someone's house. Seeing someone. Seeing someone at their house. The sun. Seeing something at the house. I mean, hermit. Inside. Sun. Being seen. House. Eight of Swords reverse. Someone's becoming unstuck. Someone's not in a psychological trap. Or this is a revelation. Courthouse. Public court of opinion. Actually, someone going to court. Can we have like a loss of occupation here? And we have Ace of Coins reverse. So this has to do with a missed opportunity and lost work. Or someone's like you know, an unfair abuse, abuse of power or someone trying to stop someone from working. Um, this, this is like the same energy these people have been doing for a while. So, but last night it felt more, I feel like there's something about the peacock in the house. <laughs> Um, okay, so official person, seven of cups. Someone's job it is to figure something out. This person doesn't know how to pray or they're, they, they're, they need to beg for something. Someone's begging someone or they don't know how to ask or this is someone who 
is tuning into lower vibrational energies to figure something out, who is praying to lower vibrational energies to figure something out, an official person of confusion. <laughs> I don't know, official person. Someone's trying to beg, but they're not going to beg. Someone's not going to beg. Figuring out their options are confused. Take a step back. Figure out which is the right choice. Create confusion. Someone's confused. Something about a loss of innocence. Taking a leap of doing something reckless, a loss of innocence is the challenge. Child reverse. to do with money. This doesn't feel like the same energy from last night, but I'm asking about it, so I know it has to do with it. I'm just not getting it yet. Five of Wands, some kind of trickery in the subconscious. A lack of help. Someone's really not actually helping someone. Some sort of karma playing out in the recent past. There's no love here. This has to do with a wealthy man. The, harm, the hermit reverse, change. Someone wants to change that. They don't want to be ostracized or they don't want someone to be a hermit. Lover, someone coming towards someone like a lover or as a lover. There's a jealous feminine energy here, a message of concern, and some sort of shoddy workmanship or someone doing something very mean. There's a message about it. And karma's playing out, and there's a master manifester here. They, they know someone's, they're expecting someone to be able to protect themselves. There's a lot of people here who are all turned upside down, or party scene, or a bunch of people who are watching something. It has to do with this gift. Um, and someone who is like really on someone all the time trying to work against someone or someone has some sort of protection here with the soldier. So it's like someone's expecting someone or expecting something. They're, they're protected from this group of people who are all turned upside down. Um, this person expects for them to arrive or expects what they're doing because they have this gift. Why is bad health with nine of coins? A lack of faithfulness. There's no faithfulness here. Someone's in bad health in regards to this feminine energy who's very independent. Sick, sun, house. Seeing someone sick in the house. They're afraid that someone will see someone sick in the house. They want to see someone sick in the house. Bad health, bad health. Afraid of someone seeing someone sick in the house. Bad health, no faithfulness here. There's a feminine energy who's, yeah, if someone is not help, really actually helping, there is some trickery going on. Someone, money, child reverse, reckless. Someone's praying to lower vibrational energies, child reverse, reckless, money, an official person. Outcome courthouse. Eight of swords reverse. This has to do with somebody who's very spiritual in the upright. So someone is not trapped, they're not emotionally trapped. Someone is in this, there's a spiritual person here in the upright courthouse. No, this feels like spiritual stuff is going on. There's a false person here. So there's a lost opportunity, a missed occupation. There's no love in this situation. There's some justice that's already been played out. 
there's some kind of confusion or fog about how to move forward. Someone doesn't know how to pray. They don't want to beg. There's an official person here. Um, the, there's, the problem is taking this leap of faith or doing something reckless. There's a loss of innocence or there's someone's not innocent or there's a child here that's getting injured or um, this has to do with money. There's no money for this. There's no money. There's a child turned upside down. Someone's been doing something reckless. Um, it's hard to know. Let's keep going. There's someone false. Someone's not really helping someone. There's some actual trickery and tension going on in the subconscious. So there, there's someone... Hmm. Oh, so they want someone to create confusion. Well, what's going on with this official person? An official person who... This person's a bully. This person's a bully who wants to... There's conflict here. Selfishness. An official person. Conflict. Selfishness. Someone, someone doesn't know how to pray or they pray to lower vibrational energies or there's confusion. People could be drinking and high. Um, so there's a bully here. There could be an official person watching a bully who they feel like is in a fog and is like really in their shadow energy. They might feel like this person is reckless. They could see that a child is um, getting injured in this situation and that there's a lack of money as a problem. That's the truth. Ace of Swords. In the recent past, something with justice, Ace of Wands, a lot of a passionate start here, a wealthy man, a new beginning, a spark, a divine spark creating a sense of justice. Karma is playing out in a good way, most likely because of this wealthy man or with this wealthy man. A series of choices that it's, this person is walking away from something where there's no love. Someone wants to change something with this lover, this king of cups, and this king of wands. King of Cups and King of Wands, Hermit Reverse, get out of being ostracized or take someone who's in the home a lot. This house, get, get out. Some sort of message about this jealous feminine energy and this like mean, mean stuff or shoddy workmanship or lack of skill, lack of attention to detail. Ten of Cups, it has to do with someone's everlasting love and belonging and a happy family. Eight of Coins, this is the work that they're doing now. It has to do with someone who is defending themselves, someone who is protected and their gift, putting in a lot of work. There's a bunch of people who are turned upside down that are watching this. Kind of a twisted, twisted energy. Um, so, um, nine of coins, bad health, um, lack of faithfulness. This has to do with like a loss of income, a loss of like, I don't usually think of the word prestige, but in this case, I'm going to say yes, it's, a, it's losing everything. This is poverty, ten of coins reverse. So there seems to be bad health in the environment here, a loss of money and no faithfulness. Someone could be unwell and, and there's something about this feminine energy who's very independent that's of interest. So this could be someone's opinion of this group. Someone's afraid or someone wants someone to see the sickness in this house or there's something going on. These people working together. 
in regards to some business venture with someone who is very a feminine energy who is very um or people cooperating together to build something in regards to this queen of swords who is very um confident intelligent graceful observant something sick is going on in this house someone is afraid it's going to be seen or they want it to be seen or someone's sick in this house outcome someone's not stuck at all they're very spiritual and there's someone's gonna to have to go to court ten of swords it's gonna to be tough for someone this is total defeat and ruin endings collapse someone's gonna to have to start over completely start over so there's someone in this in this environment that's false it has to do with like someone's loss of occupation and missed opportunities six of cups someone from the past where there was unconditional love someone who's very unconditionally loving someone who's very innocent yeah someone who has a lot of potential it's about support security someone's security feeling loved and welcomed so i feel like someone was making plans here to bully someone people could be really in, in their shadow energy i feel like there's someone here who was witnessing it and thinks that it's really sick what's going on I feel like they think that someone is very sick in this house or something that's going on here is like, they invited someone in who is, has observed what was going on and feels very um, disturbed. Someone is false here. Um, this group could be losing their occupation and they could have been missing at opportunities because justice has been playing out but their the com conversation or the subject is this person here it could also be this person's health and the lack of faithfulness trying to stop anyone from being faithful towards this person who is a hard worker and and create a collapse of their empire or their potential to build one They could want this person to be in bad health as well. Someone could be discussing this here. It's a real sick, sick plan. Someone's planning something here because they want to change something. They don't want someone to be hermited anymore. Someone might come towards someone as a lover. There could be two people coming, two masculine energies, both coming towards one person at once with like an offer. They appear to be a, a lot of people. There's something about someone who's gifted. This person, this nine of coins is gifted. They have a gift, either a spiritual gift or they have a talent or, you know, there's a gift connected to this person and they're, they're protected. So they're, expect, they're expecting that. So it's trying to think through eight of coins putting in a lot of effort to, I guess, get past this person's um, protection. Wow, so that is the conversation. Hmm. I don't know if this is they wanna see someone sick in the house that's what they're hoping for. They're all working together to make this Queen of Swords sick in the house and they want to see it. And the trickery has to do with making this person feel like there's nowhere to turn to. So they can't get any support. 
It's based on a lot of lies and corruption. There's a bully here. If there isn't a witness, if there isn't a witness, it doesn't matter if something is still going to work out in this person's favor that they are trying to attack. It, it was really uncomfortable energy I was feeling. Um, and it just feels real nasty, real nasty. Um, planning to get past someone's defenses who isn't bothering anyone. And that's why there's something, there is something sick going on here. This is sick. This person has six of cups energy, so they're unconditionally loving. And they're working independently on their own, minding their own business. So that's who they're attacking. Um, they're attacking someone who's unconditionally loving, that's like spiritually protected, that has a gift or is very gifted and is unconditionally loving. There's something about a loss of occupation. They've probably tried to block their occupation or stop them from self-actualizing is what it is. And, and I feel like they want to make this person sick. But it's not going to work in the near future. It's something about this feminine energy who's very jealous. There's a message about this person and this mean effort they're putting in. Whatever they're doing now, there's a message about it in the near future. And it's faded. Something faded is happening. And it's gonna, the outcome is someone is not trapped. Ten of Swords, someone is gonna get, be defeated. There's someone here who's very spiritually uh, sound. They tune into the higher vibrations. They're balanced. And someone could end up going to court because of this. So if you resonate with this message, I hope that it helps. And I'll see you on the next one. Bye.